Hi there, Sylvia Garenzak here and I am a Gel Moment Independent Distributor. How is everybody doing? I am going to be doing this look right here, which I have been eyeing up for some time. So this is, it's like an ombre. Well, it is an ombre. It's not like an ombre. It is an ombre, but I also did an ombre with two different chromes on top. And I will show you how to get this look promptly. So how about we get right to it? The first thing that I'm going to do, because I want a natural look underneath, I have Gel Extend as a base right now, but I'm going to be putting a bit of 2D Cutie on that just has, it's, it's a sheer polish, it's a translucent polish, but it has a bit of pink to it. So let's put a couple coats on that on my finger right now. And there it is. You don't need to stick around to watch me paint a nail because you all know how to do that already, right? the power of video editing. Anyways, I just put two coats of 2D Cutie on here and now the next step, which is not really necessary, but which I'm going to be doing, I'm using our liquid latex here because the ombre is going to be from about three quarters of the nails down, as you can see here. And I might touch my skin a bit and it's just going to make cleanup a little bit easier so I don't have to constantly put uh, clean it with a cleanser pad. So I am just putting this literally a thicker coat right alongside my cuticles so basically on the skin because if I get any polish on here it will be able to just peel it right off afterwards so this is a natural latex and uh, once it's dry actually this side might actually dry before I even do this side it turns gold so that way you know it's ready Okay, next I'm using Underwater Haze for the ombre. And the reason why I'm using this color, well, I love blues and I'm matching a dress that I am wearing. Uh, so this manicure is literally gonna be for one night. I'm gonna wear it, I'm, this manicure is gonna last for a couple of weeks, but um, it's gonna match my dress. So I'm using this ombre sponge right here and you get replaceable sponges. I'm gonna put the link to this below if you're interested and it makes, really easy work of an ombre so I'm basically just tapping the edge of it there's a lot of polish here so I'm just tapping the polish and then off to the side I'm going to tap the excess off okay and we're going to do this several times so now um, what I'm going to do here just making sure that I tap all the excess off but still leaving a little bit on the sponge I am bringing this down to about two-thirds of the way and just applying light pressure light tapping all the way across the nail and because we have the liquid latex on here, don't be afraid to get a little bit on your skin because it's going to protect you. That liquid latex is going to protect you as a barrier from getting out. See there, I knew that was going to happen because my nail beds go deep into my sidewalls. So I, I have this as a easy cleanup method. So I am just applying it. I'm going to try to get in right into this side here as well. And also cap my edges okay that is I think I want to go a little bit further down and I'm just doing light tapping okay we're gonna give this a cure so we're gonna do this again again I'm just tapping into the polish here making sure that I don't have too much on or else it's going to apply blotchy so you, that's why I tap a bit into the polish and then tap off to the side to get the residual off the excess off so I'm gonna do the same thing and just lightly dabbing on my nail making sure I get on the edge and cap the edge and I'm going to bring it down but not quite as far as I did in the first because this is going to give us the ombre effect so you see how it's a little bit lighter here but a little bit more deeper and richer color here so we're gonna do that all the way up the nail so do this as many times as it takes to get the look that you're looking for so let's do another coat and what I'm doing is I am curing in between as well because these are actually quite light applications you don't have to do the full 45 second or 60 second cure depending on which one of our lamps you have I'm just doing maybe about 20 30 seconds because it is super super thin and almost see-through so I'm going to now put this under the lamp for about 20 seconds and then I'll carry on
with that last part of the ombre that I did with the sponge I did a full cure and so now I'm just going to remove the liquid latex you can use either your remover tool you can use a pair of tweezers and it just basically peels right off all right, now that that's all cleaned up, we need to put a coat of clear polish on here. So you can use Clearly Frisky. I'm just using Simply Clear, which is one of our HEMA free lines. And you'll see that it smooths out because if you look at the ombre, it looks a bit grainy. And then it's just because of the sponge. And whether you use a brush or a sponge, you kind of get the same effect, I find. Um, so I just put a, a coat of Clearly Frisky on, or Simply Clear in this case, just to kind of smooth it all out. And it's going to settle in nicely into all those little fine spongy spots that we have now the reason why we do this is because if we were to put the chrome on with without putting this coat on then because it's textured with using the sponge the chrome look would look texture too i want a really nice glassy mirror effect here so i'm just smoothing out the foundation we're going to give this a full cure now for a little bit of magic now, if you've seen any of my other videos and me talking about the chromes, I'm in love with our chromes. And here I'm using the pearl powder and I'm extra an extraterrestrial chrome here. I love, love, love working with them because they are so fun. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just tapping the applicator lightly into the pearl powder. And I am going to be rubbing it in from the base to probably about halfway up the nail, making sure that you get into the sidewall nice and deep. And I'm rubbing it in to burnish the chrome right in there, okay? Now, this is where I'm gonna stop. Next, I'm going to take my little dust brush here and I can post a link to that below as well. And I'm just basically taking off a little bit of excess that is on there because I, it, when you were pushing, when I was pushing the chrome up, there was a bit that accumulated up here and I don't want that to go up here. So next I'm going to take the extraterrestrial chrome and a little bit of it here. A little goes a super long way. So see, that's all I have on the brush here. So now I'm gonna go from the tip and rub that in nice, making sure that I'm also capping the edge as well because you wanna have that nice seamless look. And I'm going to create an ombre of sorts with the chrome on top of the ombre that, or sorry, on top of the polish. So now I pressed firmly on the tip and I kind of wanna lighten up the pressure going down because I want to have an ombre effect so at this time I'm also just using the tip of it and not the flat surface to kind of bring the blue the extraterrestrial chrome into the pearl powder and hoping that they'll mix somewhere in the middle meet somewhere in the middle sorry meet somewhere in the middle and create a cool little effect so now because there's a little bit of loose uh chrome here I'm just taking my dust brush again and I'm just moving it out of the way so that I can see a little bit better and I'm liking the way that this is looking so I'm just going to bring that further down and maybe take a bit more of the pearl powder and move up into that where they meet then I'm also kind of comparing it and making sure that it kind of matches the other side because I want that gradient to go down as far as the as far as this one kind of match it a little bit right as much as best as you can. Okay, so I'm going to take my dust brush again just do a couple little gentle swipes and I think we have it looks fantastic okay so i am just going to close this up because i almost had an accident <laughs> with my pearl chrome or my pearl powder earlier and we're going to close it up so if i knock it we're good next i have a dedicated clearly frisky and i just mark it with a with a c for chrome um where i'm going to be coating oh i should i should actually make sure i have all the loose particles off <laughs> okay so now you have to seal in your chrome or else it's just going to rub off. So now we're just putting a final coat, a thin coat of Clearly Frisky on, and then you're going to do a full cure underneath the lamp. And here it is. So stay tuned until the end of the video and you'll see the whole manicure because I'm going to carry on and finish this off now. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you are a seasoned veteran at this channel, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao for now.